Hello and welcome back to another video from the Block IoT. In today's video, we are going to talk about smart homes and smart buildings. More particularly, we are going to talk about Home Assistant, one of the most popular open source platform for a smart home and a smart building projects. Because I know most of the Block IoT followers are industrial automation and industrial internet of things professionals, let's just quickly have a look at the Home Assistant and what you can do with it. So as I mentioned, Home Assistant assistant is an open source project which has gained a lot of popularity and attention in the smart home community due to its flexibility and open source nature. As you may know, having a smart home at home can be costly and expensive, which normally involves monthly or yearly subscription fees. But for those who are familiar with tech, this might not be very favorable. And that's where the Home Assistant comes in as an open source project and open source platform, because it gives you all the gadgets and tools that you need to make your home smarter. When it comes to a smart home, we are talking about the software part and also the hardware components. Some example of Hardware components are the smart plugs, motion sensors or PIR sensors, and other sensors or inputs such as the push buttons. And this is one of the popular push buttons that you can use it to activate some actions. For example, once I press this key, I want to turn on the light or if I double press it, I want to turn on another light, or if I click this button three times, I wanna do another action. And there are many, many more hardware components that you can use to make your home smarter. For example, you can use the temperature sensor or humidity or even water leak detection sensors for different applications. So that's enough for the hardware part. We are going to talk more about the smart home in Block IoT channel soon. But for now, let's just jump back to the main topic, which is home assistant. The key components in any smart home system is the software and more typically the data dashboard because at the end of the day something or a piece of software should control all those hardware or you should have a way to monitor the value of those hardware. And of course there are more advanced features in any smart home system such as automation which are basically a set of rules that are executed based on some incoming events. And one of the very cool features about this project as I mentioned this is a completely open source project and you can go to github and get more details and review even the source code if you would but as an end user normally you don't deal with the source code because there is a big community who are continuously improving this platform and fixing bugs and so on but as an end user you do care about the user interface and UI what I really liked about home assistant website is this section of the website which you have a real life dashboard from a typical smart home to get a better understanding of what you can do with the home assistant and how the dashboard looks like and so on for example, as you can see here, we have an object that uh, monitors the temperature of a room. If you just click on that, you can get more details. For example, this is the historical trend of the temperature in the last few days or last few hours and so on. Similarly, for different hardware, there are different software components to monitor and interact with them. For example, here, there is a floor lamp. As you can see, if you click on it, you can adjust the light intensity. And if you have a RGB light, you can control the light color and so on. So if you had zero background in a smart home and home assistant, I hope you get some background, but bear in mind, we are going to talk more about home assistant and a smart home in the future. For now, let's go back to the main topic of this video, which is connecting a Siemens logo device to home assistant. Today, we are going to show you how you can connect your Siemens Logo Mini PLC to Home Assistant over MQTT protocol. If you have been following Block IoT, you know that we are a big fan of Logo because it is a low-cost controller packed with a lot of features and functionality. And a smart home and a smart building is a great application for this device. We have a playlist dedicated to Logo on Block IoT YouTube channel. So if you want to learn more about Logo, make sure to check other videos. If you have zero background in Logo, make sure you check this video, which will help you getting started with Logo under 30 minutes. And if you are a more advanced user and you just want to know how to use MQTT in Logo, 
we have separate videos for those as you can see here okay here is what we are going to do today as you can see i have a siemens logo version 8.4 which i have enabled the mqtt protocol in it and i have defined a couple of mqtt topics as you can see here in my siemens logo again we have a dedicated video for this so i don't want to go into the details of what we did and how we did it but just to let you know there is a siemens logo mqtt is enabled and we are publishing some information to this topic and as you can see from this graphic, my Siemens logo is connected to my wireless router through an Ethernet switch. And then on the top, I have my home assistant server, which is installed on an old PC in my case. So as you may know, you can install home assistant on many different hardware. For example, Raspberry Pi is one of the most popular hardware for installing home assistant. So on my home assistant, I have installed a few add-ons. And again, if you're not familiar, what is the add-on? Add-on basically is a piece of software that lets you integrate different software or even hardware or system into your home assistant. For example, I'm using EMQX MQTT broker in my home assistant because I need an MQTT broker so my logo can publish the data to this MQTT broker. This could be another MQTT broker, for example, HiveMQ, or it could be just a simple Mosquito MQTT broker sitting on a separate server. But in my case, I'm using EMQX MQTT broker on my home assistant. If you are not familiar with this particular MQTT broker, we also have a couple more videos about it and I hope those videos will help you to get started with this MQTT broker which is very popular and powerful. So beside my MQTT broker, we can install any other software or add-ons that we want for different applications. So for example, I have installed Node-RED for doing some low-code programming for my smart home application. I also have an InfluxDB database for a storing historical value or time series data on my home assistant server and lastly i have also installed grafana add-on for visualizing some server data so ultimately you can use your laptop or pc or even your smartphone to monitor and control your smart home system so let's get into the details and see how we can connect a siemens logo to a home assistant server so as i mentioned i'm going to connect my siemens logo to the home assistant server over mqtt and you can just head to the home assistant website and see what different protocols and integrations are available based on your application but for for now we are just going to focus on the MQTT and there is a great documentation on Home Assistant website and that's how I was able to figure out how to connect my logo to the Home Assistant or MQTT. If you look at the MQTT integration page, you will see different information. And for today's video, we are going to look at the MQTT sensor. In other words, we are going to create two sensors in Home Assistant to monitor the value of two analog inputs connected to my Siemens logo. So if you remember from the previous video, this is the configuration that we use to show you how you can use MQTT in Siemens logo. On the left side, I have a logo version 8.4 which supports MQTT and on the right side I have an older demo which doesn't support MQTT but I'm using these analog inputs and also digital input switches to read the information and then I transfer this information to my logo 8.4 and this logo 8.4 transferred the data to my MQTT broker sitting on my home assistant over MQTT. So by the end of this video, you will see how you can monitor the value of these two analog inputs, AI1 and AI2 on a home assistant dashboard. Let's just get into the home assistant and see how we can create two sensors to monitor our analog values. To access the Home Assistant dashboard, simply type in your Home Assistant server IP address followed by the port number 8123. Very quickly, the way you install all those add-ons, you just go to your setting and there's the add-on section and you just go to the add-on store and simply search for your add-on or integration that you need to work with. So once you install your add-on, you will see a shortcut on the left navigation bar. For example, my MQTT broker right now, I have EMQX. So as you can see here, once you click on the EMQX or MQTT broker, you will get the UI that you normally see when you work with this MQTT broker. Before starting to work on the home assistant side, always make sure that your MQTT connection between your MQTT broker and also your Siemens logo is established properly. To test this connection, I'm just using MQTTX software 
you could use MQTT Explorer or any other MQTT client to monitor the status of your MQTT broker or maybe subscribe to some MQTT topics to make sure the communication is established. So as you can see here, I have entered the IP address for my home assistant server, which is running my EMQX MQTT broker. And also I have subscribed to this topic, which I have configured in my Siemens logo to publish my values to. So I just simply hit the connect. As you can see, my Siemens logo is publishing some information to this topic. And if you look closer to this data, you will see I have a DI1, DI2, AI1 and AI2. So my goal in this project is to monitor the values of AI1 and AI2 as two MQTT sensors on Home Assistant. Okay, now that we are sure that our MQTT communication between my Siemens logo and EMQX MQTT broker is working properly, let's jump into the Home Assistant and see how we can integrate this data to Home Assistant. So as you may already know, configuration of Home Assistant is done through a YAML file. You can do a lot of things without configuring this YAML file, but for implementing advanced topics such as adding an MQTT sensor to Home Assistant, you have to work with the YAML file. But it's pretty simple and I'm going to show you how to do that. To edit your YAML file, you have different ways, but the easiest way is just to install in this file editor add-on on your Home Assistant and simply click on that. So if you just click on this folder icon, you can browse your file system and find this configuration.yaml file. So this YAML file is not just for MQTT. This is for configuring many other things in Home Assistant. But for now in my YAML file, I just included another MQTT.yaml file and then I can just go and edit that mqtt.yaml file. Here is how I am adding my Siemens logo data to the Home Assistant so I can use this data on my dashboard. So as you can see, adding this MQTT sensor is pretty straightforward. The tricky part is parsing the JSON data which is being published by logo to the MQTT broker. But this is the template that you can use in your own project for extracting the data that is coming from the logo. For example, I have created two different entities called analog input 1 and analog input 2 and they are connected to analog input 1 and analog input 2 of my physical logo. So once you have added these lines to your configuration.yaml file, you need to make sure you start your home assistant or reload your configuration file to make sure the configuration are applied. To do that, I just simply go here, restart, and I just do a quick load. So now if I go back to my overview, which is my dashboard, I can create different dashboards over here. And let's just quickly add another one. Of course, I can select different icons and there are just different views that you can select from the list. But for now, let's just start from scratch. And the way you add different objects to Home Assistant dashboard, you just need to click on this add card. So for example, here, I'm just going to add two gauges so I can monitor the value of analog inputs on my logo. And if I browse through different available entities in Home Assistant, I will see these two entities called Logo Analog Input 1 and Analog Input 2 as we configured in our YAML file. So I simply select my Analog Input 1 and then I hit the Save. So if I change the value of Analog Input 1 connected to my Siemens logo, I can see the changes on my Home Assistant dashboard. And the communication between my Siemens logo and Home Assistant is done through MQTT. So let's just quickly add another gauge to monitor the value of analog input 2. And again, if I browse through the available entities, I will see analog input 2. And then I just hit the save. So again, if I change the value of analog input 2, I will see the real time changes on my dashboard. So now that you have the data in Home Assistant, you can do a lot of things with it. For example, I can use Node-RED to visualize the value of my sensors, or I can use other nodes, for example, InfluxDB in to save my sensor data into an InfluxDB time series database, or even make another dashboard in the Node-RED. And of course, I can use other tools and software such as Grafana to make another type of dashboards if I would. So here you have it, that's how you connect a Siemens logo to a Home Assistant server through MQTT protocol. 
Again, there are other protocols to connect different devices to Home Assistant, such as ZigBee and Z-Wave or Z-Wave and Matter and so on. But as I mentioned, MQTT is a very lightweight protocol and is widely used in IoT or IoT systems. And Home Assistant itself is a very popular and powerful platform. And you can combine Home Assistant, MQTT, and a device such as Siemens Logo, which are designed for industrial grade, to do a lot of things. For example, you can implement an energy management dashboard in Home Assistant and you can be as creative as you want. I hope this video was useful for you. Please let us know what you think about this video and if you are interested to know more about Home Assistant and Smart Home and so on. Uh, we will be happy to provide you more video and tutorials to help you out to build a successful career in industrial IoT or industrial automation system. Until the next time, have a great day or night.